So that was a clip from the film White Wash um, that will be screening at the California African American Museum on Saturday at uh, 2 o'clock. And to get tickets, you need to call the African American Museum because um, seating is very limited, so I don't want you to miss out on that. But um, the director, Ted Woods, is in studio with us, and Allison Rose Jefferson, who's a historian, who's also in the film. Of course, this is Margaret Prescott, host of Sojourner Truth here, and they are in studio guests. But uh, Ted Woods, who is the director, filmmaker at Ted Woods, did you have any idea when you got the idea to do this project, that it would take you through this kind of colonial history in terms of Hawaii, but also uh, in terms of uh, Africa and African Americans. I mean, I'm from Barbados, a small island, 14 by 21 miles. I'm, I'm not from the coastline, I'm from a little village, but we could see the sea. I didn't learn how to swim. And there was a whole thing about right. our village and water. So I was really interested in, in your film uh, from that point of view also, Ted Woods. Um, yeah, no, I, it, I certainly was not expecting the journey that it took me on um, and weaving together so many different components of the history to sort of tell um, the, 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 the present and understand the present, understand the, the cultural paradigms that we live by and, and how limiting those are, certainly, uh, I think, in African-American uh, culture today such as surfing, you know, swimming. We have the Olympics coming up. you got to learn to swim first That's before right. you can surf. That's right. And, and, and so there were so many uh, different elements that we had to, to explore and engage in the film, I, I thought, to tell the story appropriately of modern, modern surfing. Um, so, no, it was, it, was, it was a very wild ride in terms of understanding the colonial history um, all around the world and, and the impact of that throughout um, history and time and, uh, to, to the present day and the implications of that and what that means to, for modern times today. Right, and, and Alison Rose Jefferson, historian and author here, I was really quite shaken to see the shots in the film of black people at the beach and being kicked and spit on and, and police and, and riot gear coming and dragging them out of the water. I mean, it was quite something. And you, in the film, talk about Santa Monica and the history of a, of a place like the Inkwell yes. in Santa Monica. Tell us about that. Well, the <clears throat> Inkwell in Santa Monica is a beach area that is um, uh, just south of Pico uh, and the shoreline. And it was the place where African Americans uh, started gathering in the early part of the 20th century, the, uh, uh, really strongly in the 1920s because this was uh, the kind of center, uh, well, the, the, the beach area that was very close to where the center of the African-American community in Santa Monica was, which was at 4th and Bay Street, which is where the Phillips Chapel Christian Methodist Episcopal Church is still situated. And that church got there in 1908. So this was the place where people from Los Angeles, from Pasadena, uh, could come down to the beach and congregate and feel comfortable and not have to feel like they um, well they they, they were harassed they weren't going to be they weren't going to yeah. be harassed there there were oper they they might be harassed at other places there had been another beach area that African Americans frequented before uh, they started going to the area in Santa Monica which was down in Manhattan Beach which was called Bruce's Beach and that. Um, uh, area had been in existence since 1913. The Bruce's had a little resort down there. Several people um, had built little cottages down there. They bought lots and built little cottages. So it was a, a informal residential community. And by the mid 1920s, um, some of the white Manhattan folks decided that um, they thought there was a Negro invasion, and they um, heaven help us. They they, uh, they then. Uh, uh, went through, uh, filed, asked for eminent domain proceedings to, um, to take the land away from the people to create a park. And then at that time also, even while that was uh, going on, we had wade-ins here in Southern California in Manhattan Beach because um, they were trying to keep the African Americans from using the beach in, in, at the shoreline in Manhattan Beach. And they set up some uh, cent uh, some some situations where they were roping off the beach, saying it was private mm -hmm. property, whereas right. it wasn't private property. And um, and, and the wait-in was a protest. It, the wait-in was a protest. 
H. Claude Hudson, um, who was head of the NAACP at the time, led this effort. The people got arrested. Um, there were several arrests uh, in terms of entry into the water. One co-ed, uh, a UCLA co-ed, got arrested in her bathing suit one time when she was down there with some friends. Then the wade-in with H. Claude Hudson uh, happened, and he's out there in a suit. I think he was in the suit with his pants rolled up and his feet in the water. And that uh, that suit, the, the, when the city arrested him, eventually that was dropped. Uh, uh, People are arrested just trying to go to the beach in Santa Monica. At a, at well, no, some, no, that was this, in Manhattan this Beach. This was in Manhattan yeah. Beach that that happened. Yeah. Well, still. Uh, there, was, there, was, there was an episode in yeah. the mid-1915, 1916, uh, where a gentleman was shot, a black gentleman was with his family. Well, actually, it wasn't in Santa Monica. That happened up in Topanga Canyon, and it was Arthur Valentine, and it was in the early 1920s. So it was um, still it was still that, that whole whole area. I'm, I'm looking at, at the clock here, and we are literally running out of time, and I, I want to... Um, again, um, let our listeners know where they could see this uh, this film, and if they miss out seeing it at the um, California Afro American Museum this Saturday, um, other opportunities, Allison Rose Jefferson. Yes, there's another uh, opportunity to view the movie uh, with a public panel at the Santa Monica. Um, public library at the main branch and that's going to be on Sunday uh, uh, September the 16th and there's going to be a bunch of programmings around that um, and people can you know watch for that in the news and then you can also view it in the privacy of your own home with DV, uh, with uh, video on demand or DVD okay very good well I'm afraid we are going to have to leave it there Ted Woods so much that we didn't talk about, um, get to talk with you about, but it'll just encourage people to go see That's the right. film. That's and this right. was your first venture. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you for To both me. of you, you. Um, with the film Whitewash. Uh, today's show produced by Margaret Prescott. I'd like to thank the Sojourner Truth team, uh, Teddy Robinson, our engineer, Teresa McGee, Azim Khan, uh, Eric Doyle, assistant producer, Sarah Shakur. If you'd like a copy of today's show, please contact the Pacifica Radio Archives at 1-800-735-0230 or go online to PacificaRadioArchives.org. Follow us on Twitter at so True Radio and like us on Facebook. Look for Sojourner Truth Radio. <coughs> Stay tuned for Uprising. Tomorrow, Sojourner Truth will be back with our weekly roundtable. You won't want to miss that. Thank you for listening. This is your host, Margaret Prescott. Um,